Remember on one of my last videos, my dad said, don't panic. Well, please don't panic. We've been getting lots of calls from sellers ready to sell at just any price. And we don't want you to give away the equity in your home. Let's take a look at what happened in 2008 during the Great Recession and compare it to today's market. During the last recession, we saw a real estate market that looked kind of crazy. We had more sellers than ever and fewer buyers, but the prices stayed very stable in North Texas. Look at this data. Before the recession, North Texas typically only had about 75,000 new listings per year. But during the very worst time of the housing market, there were over 125,000 new listings in the year. Meanwhile, the number of sales actually went down from about 97,000 sales down to under 70,000 sales in a year. With more sellers and fewer buyers, prices should go down, right? But they didn't. Back during the last recession, sellers during the peak summer months saw very stable house prices. The median summertime house price only changed by about 2%. And if you take a whole year's worth of data, there was never a time in North Texas that the median prices were down by more than 3%. How does this happen? More supply, less demand, but stable prices. Well, during that time, there were thousands of sellers who simply failed to sell. Houses sat on the market only to the frustration of the owners. Many of those owners just didn't move and stayed where they were. A lot of those properties turned into rental properties. Unfortunately, some of them went back to the bank as foreclosures. So rather than selling for less, they simply didn't sell and prices were flat. Now, what can we expect from this market, the coronavirus housing market? Unlike the 2008 recession, we do expect to see a little bit more of a price drop in housing. Here's why. Leading up to 2008, there was not a big increase in housing prices. From 2003 to 2008, housing prices only increased by about 11%. So lots of sellers who wanted to sell their house simply didn't have enough equity in the house for it to make sense. They couldn't pay off the mortgage, maybe their late payments, closing costs, etc. So they didn't sell because they wouldn't make any money. But today, the typical homeowner who bought five years ago has seen prices go up by 30%. That means that that homeowner has about $60,000 equity in their home. That means that today's sellers can afford to sell for less, which means prices could go down. Also factoring into housing prices is tightening of mortgage guidelines, possible higher unemployment, and maybe rising mortgage interest rates. So what does this mean and what should you do? Well, if you were thinking of selling a home before all of this happened, Here's some interesting data. We noticed that after 2008, the average priced homes sold the best and the more expensive homes took the biggest hit to the price. So if that pattern holds true this time, it could really be a good time for you to trade up into your dream home. Also, if you were thinking about selling, we noticed that in March, there were far fewer new listings coming on the market than normal. But based on what we're hearing in the real estate industry, we think that's about to change. And I think we're about to see lots of new houses hit the market. So if you were thinking of selling before all of this, you might want to beat the rush. If you were financially impacted by this crisis and you're getting a little bit nervous, remember, don't panic and don't just give away the equity in your home. You might have a little more time than you thought because most mortgage companies have a way for you to delay your payments at least temporarily. Finally, we want you to know we understand your situation is unique. My life's work and career over almost 20 years has been advising buyers and sellers to help them make decisions that make the most sense. I hope you'll reach out to me if you have any questions about your real estate needs. Back in the 2008 recession, while all of those sellers were getting frustrated, our clients were selling quickly and for top dollar. While almost 25% of the listings that came on the market failed to sell, we sold virtually 100% of our listings for our clients. So we would love to help you if you're thinking of selling. If you like this video, please make sure to do a couple of things. First, like it, share it, spread the news. Second, make sure to subscribe because we always wanna keep you updated with the most current news in the real estate industry. My name is Jay Robbins. I'm the broker at Robbins Real Estate Group. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.